So the motorcycle guy, Natter doesn't know that I met up with him, like for real. I did meet up with him and I lied about it. I, I met up with him twice. I made out with him pretty bad twice. But nothing sexual like that happened, but the motorcycle guy is real actually, Don, for real. The guy at McDonald's, I haven't like made, fabricated anything else like with for you guys though, really, I haven't. And the homeless guy actually was real. It just, the situation with the homeless guy was different, but he did exist. He came to my window and it took me off guard. And how do you make out with someone badly? Like passionate. No, I'm just kidding. He wasn't passionate. Why is it eating away at my conscience? Because I wish I could explain to you how fucked up my situation is. I didn't even, okay, so anyways, so this guy, <clears throat> bb 2.0 he's really nice and he's really loving but like he told me he loved me today like just tonight like he wanted me to meet him again at the bowling alley and i was like um i'm like really really tired like so and plus i don't know like i'm i'm kind of wanting to like right now it's just like a friendship but with natter but you know anyway so to me that's a red flag like if i've learned if i if i've I want to learn from my experiences in life as much as I can, if I can. And I'm trying to see red flags now. And I remember reading in, in an Instagram article, like a cheesy Instagram quote, that like the sign, like that's a red flag. <laughs> Abandoned bowling alley is no place to fall in love. <laughs> so am I attracted to this guy? Yes. Actually, yes. Whole fucking year of this shit together. Can you imagine and no growth at all? <laughs> You're right. This is gonna be another year of this shit too. I said that to him in the car today. I said, have you ever heard of like star cross lovers? I said, you ever like, do you believe that God has a plan for everybody? Like what if God's plan is just, we're just not supposed to be together? And he's like, well, that's for up to for God to know, you know? It's like, no, because like, like, how would you know? And it's like, how do you know? You know by it just never working. That's how you know, right? I don't want him out of my life because I do really like him. Like, and I really fucking like want to have sex with him sometimes. So what I'm thinking is like building like a friendship and stuff like that, like instead of something so toxic, you know? And maybe I could give, because I need something super loving. And I feel like maybe this guy is super loving and maybe I shouldn't just throw it away. If it's not meant to be, girl, it seems that you're ignoring. Ooh, that's what I'm saying. Do you guys believe in that? Like, do you believe in faith? Man, this is a Chili's. <laughs> I blocked everybody. Hi, Sam. I'm sorry, guys. I should pay more attention to my cats. I know. Even more than I do. <laughs> it's true. I used to give them a lot more before I had a life. I'm sorry, Sam. Now I have a life. I love you still. <laughs> fate? No. Like, if it's fate, it wouldn't- it would be easy to be together. But, like, it would feel good. You know what I mean? And it's just always stress. <laughs> so, I don't know. But, at the same time... <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> Lachine Cross Lovers. Oh, shut up, Julia. Love shouldn't hurt so much, yeah. We just want fun content like Scooter Walmart bees. Uh, sitting on a cake. Yeah, I could do that. <laughs> Leaving your life up to fate? What is that? What does fate have an age preference? I don't get that. I know, Nan. I do need someone sensitive and loving. Yeah. Remember when you- yeah. Nadra is the opposite of loving and sensitive, I know. But he can also- he's- he's very passionate, very passionate lover, so... It, like, I guess that can be confusing at times. I mean, he is, like, obviously he's, like, he is loving, like, not lo I'm not saying he's, like, I don't know, like, obviously there's really something that attracts me to him. Like, in the worst way. I just find him so attractive. Like, physically, I just want to eat him. I don't know why. Yeah, emotional needs, that's the thing. So we're drug free? Neither am I. I don't think so. Um, yeah, in the mornings. Yeah, in the morning, yeah. Yeah, sometimes. Oh god, imagine Dawn. I am controlling. In a relationship situation, yeah, I don't like I like to be the one in control. So that's what I'm saying. Like if we're really just not you know, like I just I just really want to do I just wanna just oh, fuck, no more drama with anybody in my life and just any relationships, you know? <clears throat> I just want everyone to be happy. That's all I want, including myself. Now, I don't know though if I want someone really clingy and really, really lovey either. 
like already saying i love you i just want to cuddle you please come see me please please and it's just like i mean how can you i've met this person twice in a parking lot in the dark like how can you be in love with me i mean we did make out and talk a lot and i feel so bad i feel like i really i just feel like it feels so bad but i have to say never mind after watching that or almost a year knowing you you and what's his face are going to destroy each other you won't get around it i don't know about random men in dark parking lot yeah I, I, and that's what I don't want. Like, I want to stop the insanity, like, if it's just going to be that way, you know? <sighs> I don't want it to be that way. I want it to be healthier. This whole thing, this whole thing. Like, I don't know, like, how natter, like, how you could expect me to survive not having said, gone through any of this online. Or maybe it wouldn't have any of it happened if it was not, no. I don't know. So messed up. It's been so exhausting, we just all want it to end. I mean, like, I don't know. I know, very good, it's just so hard. If you want to give, if you want me to give my honest opinion, and I'm not saying this to like, I'm not going to talk about mad or bad or anything, because I'm saying that because I know he'll probably see this, I don't want him to think that, but I think maybe whenever I press charges on him and he had, like, I feel like Dee Dee stepped in and they became really close and did things, she became, she replaced me at that time, and then she got feelings for him. Um, no, I don't get any proceeds from anything. I have nothing to do with these, the sale of these hats. I'm a customer. So, um, <clears throat> but I think that Nader still loved me. And I could see, like, I don't know. I think he still had love for me and still wanted to be with me. So that now that after everything, like, legal is over and we can be together, now he, we want to be back together, work on getting back together. Fucking, I don't know. Like, it's messy now with everything like i feel like sh i don't know but they don't they don't they deny that they deny that like heavily that they ever fucked like never and what am i supposed to do like he really like really like gets like offended and mad that i say that like you have to get it out of your head that i fucked Dee. i don't never but then what does read between the lines mean i mean i just don't personally i don't believe it i think they did have sex and just a feeling inside me like i can't get rid of that and that's always going to also be another point of- there's so many points of contention against us being together that it's just so much stress for us and it's just eating away at us and it's really hard. And that's basically, um, like, I really wish it wasn't like that. Like, and I know inside me that, like, he's not going to be with me forever if he does be with me and it would just be- it's just so much better for us to just, I don't know, be friends, you know, and I can help him as a friend and, and with YouTube and still be in his life. But I need, we both have needs that we just can't meet, you know, so. <laughs> Grow up how? <sighs> Natter six, you don't know my fucking life. I have a lot of people in my life, so shut up. Actually, I'm going to start telling you people, if you leave, say stupid comments, I'm going to start answering your stupid comments. Get a taste of your own medicine. Actually, no, my answers are not going to be stupid, though. Like, you look like a wig. Hmm? McRage. <laughs> I can't get McRage now. My mom, uh, yeah. She did like my wig, yeah. Cynthia Ranchers. Why does everything have to have ranch? You think I guzzle ranch? You didn't clock the wig, you friggin fake wig clocker. What's the plan for tomorrow? The fact that there is no plan now. I just ruined everything. We keep making plans together and I keep ruining them because I feel like I want to do what's the best for us. And I don't know if what we're doing is the best for us. Like objectively. Who's the last person on the planet you think he should be with? Me! And who's the last person on the planet you think I should be with? Him! And he'll go, I don't give a fuck what people think, it's what I think. Okay, I'm really fucking burnt. Okay, I'm just gonna fucking... Oh, I feel bad doing this while he's sleeping. Whoa! Hello! Cause seeing is believing! Oh! I have those craft beers and that Moscato chilling. You know what we should do? Make halloumi burgers and have Moscato tomorrow. Just bad man in apartment in Montreal and he will use to cheat on you with other women. <laughs> Don't, no, no comment. The relationship is in ruins. You could be so much happier if you just stopped talking about him online. Victoria, hi. No, but I don't know why, like I do. It's not to fuck him over and make him mad, even though it does when I do it. I just want to talk about my feelings. I should not have relationships with anyone who doesn't like to be public because I talk about my life and if you're part of my life it's so hard. It's so fucked up. I read a journal, no one fucking reads it. 
I feel claustrophobic. I feel like I need to make a decision, but I feel like I'm avoiding all the important things in my life. For, for, for what? I'm not functioning properly. That's another reason I can't be in a relationship. I just get hypnotized. I need an audience for everything. Yeah, I like an audience, I gotta admit. Ow. See? Look at it. Okay, come here. Look at these white heads. They fucking hurt. And I can't pop them. Why is my face like this? Why is there a herpy here? Can I pop it on camera? I want to pop it so bad. I'm not Amber Heard. Uh, shut the <sighs> This is why I didn't want to talk about this shit online. Now I'm a fucking essay liar. My god. <sighs> Get a needle? It's too high to be a herpy, I know. The collagen lip gloss, it fucks me up. Oh. <clears throat> Can I pop it now? Do you want to see? One, if you want to see me pop this with something weird. Because I will, I'll poke it with something weird. You can get herpes. <laughs> Nobody. I actually hate watching it. Ew, look, it's white. Don't pick it. Okay, I'm going to turn the camera. I'm not getting an apartment. Natter is getting his own place, I believe, so. I don't know, guys. I can't talk about that. I'm not too sure what's happening with him. You can ask him. Wow. Okay, Dawn. Don't look, guys. I need this as a mirror. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Sorry! I got it. I need your help with that. <laughs> that hurts. Sorry. <laughs> I'm the gross person ever on fucking YouTube. Don't cancel me. My eyebrows are too light. Look it. Don't cancel me. I mean, maybe there is some love, but if it's just not good for us to be together, if we're just gonna destroy each other and hurt each other, I don't want that. Because really think about it, guys. Like, you say, oh god, oh god, but if he wanted to be with Didi, he could easily- he's living there already. He wouldn't have to stress and scramble for us to fucking, like, he wouldn't- he wouldn't have to move out. He could- he has it made there. He's with her already. He could be fucking her every night, living there fucking- you know what I mean? So why not then? I'm just saying. Evidence. So does she. So does she. Right? Probably. I mean, I don't know for sure, but probably. <laughs> Did you say Bay Nation is making knife plushes? Oh my fucking god. Do not, please. Why do you- Come on! Oh my god. Nobody ever likes my boyfriends. No one should ever have to deal with either of you. <laughs> That's not very nice. BB and I lasted seven years. Uh. One woman isn't enough. You're right. That's how I feel. But maybe I'm just paranoid. You never know. But deep down, you know. That's what I'm saying. That's my problem. And that's what I know eats at me. Is deep down I know. But I do still feel so in love with him. Like so, so. I could probably kiss him for like ever. Yes. BB was a bitter old Betty. Well, BB. <laughs> he, yeah, I don't know. Just think, you know when things get boring? I, ju I just, I think we just fell out of, out of love with each other, I guess. I mean, I think we still loved each other. I still care about him as a person. I really wish him well. And I'll always be his friend, I'm pretty sure. I mean, we don't talk often, but like he needed a cookie recipe. Almond flour. Like, if I wasn't in love with Natter still, I would be so much easier for me to be in love, fall in love with this person. For sure, because, like, they have qualities that I, but, yeah, it didn't work with uh, BB in the end, so maybe it's not. Like, I, this guy makes me feel like, oh, but not like, oh, you know? Yeah. You know how certain guys make you feel? <laughs> No, I didn't. What, Ocean? Yeah. He knows I'm a YouTuber corpse, but I don't know if he's checked out my channel. I mean, I really like him and I am very attracted to him. And like I said, if it, like I, I was honest, I said like what's holding me back is that I love my ex, like Oh, I want to make sweet and sour meatballs tomorrow. Fuck yeah, I know what I'm having for dinner. Anyway, do I go to Montreal daily? Not daily, but... 
it's been more frequently often, like more often. Um, since we, you know, we're allowed to be together now. So we started like more slowly and then now it's like, well, I mean like now since the Jardin Botanique, <laughs> the new Toronto, <laughs> I feel like I just started more and more, but I, I, oh God, it was, yeah, it was really nice. So I started liking spending time.